Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Blazing Vortex, uh, which is an old booster set back from uh, about April of last year. It's also one of the first booster boxes I ever did on the channel. Um, before we get started, if you could and you enjoy our videos, please hit the subscribe button. It means a lot if you do. Uh, we're going to take a look at this again and reopen everything uh, because it was one of the first videos that I did uh, I filmed it in two parts. Each part was about 45 minutes long, uh, so about an hour, uh, an hour and a half worth of time to get through a booster box. Uh, obviously, that's kind of a miserable time uh, in terms of how long it takes to open up something. Um, so a lot has changed. Learned a lot throughout the uh, time uh, in in the time since uh, that I got started. Uh, back back when we first opened it, we didn't get really uh, too many great uh, cards. From it, I think we got uh, Eldic, uh, the Mad and uh, the Mad Golden Lord. It's probably our best card we got from that. So we're still hoping to get one of the Starlights. And uh, other than that, value of this box has kind of dropped off drastically. But given that the first, it was the first video, basically the the first booster set ever opened on the channel. Uh, it was just kind of a miserable uh, kind of learning experience in terms of. Uh, getting back into it kind of really kicked off the uh, the uh, reopening, getting in the bug for collecting again here. Uh, wanted to redo it, uh, hopefully do things a little bit more expedition. We're going to shuffle these because I don't remember if this set was mapped. Uh, but we're going to do it in a little bit quicker than an hour and a half this time uh, being the goal. And also hope we get some of these good cards, uh, pull one of these starlights on this second go around make it an overall better experience. So our target goal is to beat the hour and a half, uh, which we should do with ease. We're much better and quicker and efficient at opening packs uh, in the modern era. Uh, so without further ado, let's crack into it and see uh, if we have improved our pull rates since then, as well as our ability to get through packs. So better than an hour and a half we won't take here. So let's fly through it. I might have counted wrong, but we got Machina Unclasper, we got Unbound Junakaki, uh, S-Force Specimen, Arm Dragon Blitz, Springin's Branga, S-Force Professor Degamma, Fairy Archer and Gunnar, Arm Dragon Lightning, and Drag Unity Gu uh, ooh, Gum Falbar as a super rare. A lot of these cards got reprinted just recently. You'll see them all in the tin of the Pharaoh's Gods. Or a lot of them, not all of them, but most of them you'll see as reprints. One, two, three, four. Fly through this real quick. Springin's Pador, Machina Unclasper, Springin's Blast, Fabled Treason, Fabled Maricosia, Springin's Call, Giga Thunder, Gig Clops, Steel Star Regulator, and Parametophores Azortless. Just another super rare. Oh no. Oh, this is killing our time, right? Flying through here. One, two, three, four. Pack trick. Oh, Machina Unclass Bear, Spring of Fedor, Archfiend Staff of Despair. We got War Rock Orpis, Dual Avatar Ascendance, Neroy the Dream Mirror Disciple, Linear Equation Cannon, War Rock Skylar, and Underdog as a Secret Rare. Not worth anything, though. But we'll add it to the collection because we didn't get it last time. All right. Springin's Captain Sargus, Ojama Pink, Digital Bug Re Registrator, Tribe Egg Rendezvous, Fairy Archer and Gunnar, Dogmatica Genesis, Giga Thunder Gig Clops, Reinforcement of the Army Troops, and Greater Polymerization as an Ultra Rare. Probably one of the better Ultras. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's at least worth a dollar. All right, Springin's Fedor, we got Tilted Tri, Dream Mirror Recap. Oh, we'll skip right past Tri Brigade, Rendezvous, Parametal Foes, Fusion, Guitar, Gunnards, Duo, uh, Guinness, uh, and Springin's Branga, Icy Breeze Refrain, and an Ultra Rare Springin' Ship X Blower. Dang it, we're just hitting all the Ultras. We're gonna need to get some magic here. Either we didn't shuffle well or error box, hopefully. 
Amana Jukai, Stairway to a Fabled Realm, Tri Brigade Rendezvous, Archie's Fat Staff of Despair, Springins Bronga, S Force Professor de Gamma, Fairy Archer and Gunnar. We got Arm Dragon Lightning, and then Constellar Caduceus. It's okay, you guys can see the first one. We just want that, oh, that card looks different. Spring, Spring the Iron Dash Dragon, Breath of Acclamation. We got Ojama Pink again, Synchro Transmission, Arm Dragon Ritual, Ancient Warrior Saga, Chivalrous Path, Nitro Armor Dragon, Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam, and then Materiactor Gigadra. Come on, give me, give me a Starlight. That's all we want. We just want any of them. Pot of Prosperity would be nice. Two, three, oops. Make sure we count well. It's kind of funny that now you can see Warrock Ordeal, the color of the cards uh, changes on the back ever so slightly on the, the hollow. Arm Dragon Ritual, Dogmatic Genesis, Paramount Flow Fusion, Angel Statue, as Rune, as Rune. Right, we're making record pace compared to that original video. All right, Synchro Transmission, Radiant Vorescence, Breath of Acclamation, Virtual World Gate, Zuan Wu, Neroy the Dream, Your Disciple, War Rock Skyler, S Force Professor de Gamma, Fabled Marcosia, and Peril Metal Flows a Zortless, which we've already gotten in this box. All right, crack through this again. We got Fable Treason, Amun Jakaki, Fairway Fable, oh my gosh, we're losing it. Tribal Gay Rendezvous, Paramental Foes Fusion, S Force Showdown, Nero the Dream Mirror Disciple, Reinforcement of the Army Troops, and War Rock Gatos. All right, let's go ahead and just cut to the back here. Turn around, Tri Brigade Rendezvous. We got Iron Dash Dragon, Acclamation again, S4 Showdown, Neroy the Dream Year Disciple, Reinforcement of the Army Troops, Linear Equation Cannon, and Arm Dragon Thunder, level five. We messed up on counting. Still super rare. It's okay, you guys will forgive me. Hopefully. All right, Fable to Bonk just got a reprint. Fable Treason. Archfiend Staff of Despair, Springin's Blast, Ancient Warrior Saga, The Chivalrous Path, Knight of Armor Dragon, There Goes a Card, Flying Everywhere. That was uh, Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam, Power Metal Foes Melcaster, and Ancient Warrior's Rebellious Lu Fang is a super rare to round us out. Alright, let's see what we got. One, two, three... Archfiend Staff of Spare, we got plenty of those. Radiant Varescence, Springin's Cap and Sargus, Arm Dragon Blitz, Linear Equation Cannon, Arm Dragon Lightning, Springin's Rocky, Dual Avatar Ascendance, and Sacred Tree Beast Hyperton. We got Darkwing Blast coming up here at the, uh, about a week or so out from this, at this point. What are you guys looking forward to in that? Anything? Coming up, and then Majestic Mavens just around the corner. Going to be interesting when we find out what actually is going to be in that uh, set. Going to be similar to Ghost from the Past. I think we get some special. Uh, got EMRs, a super good. I think we get some special card sleeves in that as well. So it's looking like it's going to be an interesting uh, holiday base pack for everyone. Radiant Fluorescence again. We got Breath of Acclamation, Virtual Gate, San Wu, Stairway to a Fabled Realm, Dogmatic Genesis, Giga Thunder Gyclops, Reinforcement of the Army Troops, Arm Dragon Ritual, and then Oniros, the Dream War Mirror Tormentor. Wrapping us out. I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, what's in that Majestic Maven set. Uh, see how well. Uh, what kind of prints? We don't really know. They haven't released a card list yet. Oh my gosh, card list yet on it. But uh, hopefully we get some good, good prints, good reprints, uh, and some good pull rates. At least on my side of things, I can't get any ghost rares or any of the uh, any of the uh, rare variants, things like starlights or ghost rares or 
ultimate rares or anything fancy. We got Radiant Varescence, Springens Captain Sargus, Arm Dragon Blitz, War Rock Orpus, Mega Meriflow's Fusion, Guitar Gunner's Duongus, Springens Branga, Icy Breeze Refrain, and Tri Brigade Kit, which is a pretty good super rare actually. Pretty close to a dollar worth of value there. Oh, we got a damaged pack, it looks like. We got Tilted Tri, Dream Mirror Recap. We got Tri Brigade Rendezvous. Look at this, we got a little bit of crimping here at the top. We'll put that to the side, that's pretty cool to see. Tinker Transmission, Icy Breed Refrain, Ferret Build Maracosia, Guitar Gunners, Duernis, uh, Fairy Archer, and then War Rock Fortia. It's a super rare. Error cards are a little bit cool. I'll give that one a little bit of credit there. A little crimping. Archfiend Staff, War Rock Orpus, War Rock Ordeal, Wind Witch, Blizzard Bell, Spring Ends Branga, Icy Breeze Refrain, Fabled Marcosia, Guitar Gunners, and then S Force Orifist. Come on, where's our next Ultra? Where's our Starlight? Any of them. Any Starlight will do. ASWD. All right, we got War Rock Orpus, Tilted Tri, Spring Ends Blast, Digital Bug Re Registrator, Heavy Metal Foes of Malgrim, Pendulum Encore, Knight of Armor Dragon, Ancient Warrior Saga, the Chivalrous Path, and then War Rock Bashelios as an ultra rare. Hopefully that does not round us out. It's not looking good, not looking good for the home team. Down to just a handful of packs here. All right, S4 Specimen, Dream Mirror Recap, Fable to Bonk, Virtual World Gate, Zon Wu, Paramental Foes, Melcaster, Dark Dual Avatar Ascendance, uh, Neroy, and then Wind Witch Chimes is a super rare. Just got a reprint. Just said everything got a reprint recently. All right, Tilted Try, and we got Springs Blast behind it, Digital Bug Registrator, all these are all sticking together, Iron Dash Dragon, Neroy the Dream Mirror Disciple, War Rock Skylar, S-Force Professor de Gamma, Fabled Marcosia, and then we've got a Secret Rare S-Force Bridgehead. Again, our Secret Rares are not worth much in this set. All right, we've got a total of five, five Secrets and Ultras. We're gonna be due for one more, probably. Let's see, Let's see what we managed to get. Raging Storm Dragon, Beaufort 9, we got Springen's Pador, we got Machina Unclass Bear, Springen's Blast, War Rock Skylar, Giga Thunder, Giga Clops, or Guy Clops, Arm Dragon Ritual, Dogmatica Genesis, and then we got a uh, ultra rare dual avatar in power Mitsu Jaku. That's gonna probably round us out, guys. Last pack, we need an error. Just not been a good. It's not been a good set to us. It, it just didn't treat us well. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to hope for some last pack magic here. We got Wind Witch, War Rock Ordeal, Rage and Storm Dragon, Machina Unclass Bear, Parametal Foes Millcaster, Pendulum Encore, S Four Showdown, Spring Ends Call, and Fabled Andraith wraps us out. So all we managed to get was four. Four total in our best pull. Here was greater polymerization. It's gonna end up being the best pull of the batch. So, rounds us out, but wanna appreciate you guys for stopping in and checking out the video. It's a great chance to get to do this one over again. Um, and if you like everything that we're doing, um, you know, like the polls, appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Uh, we're gonna continue doing it. Um, you know, obviously improving as we go along the way. Um, and trying to make things better, uh, make our openings better, make everything kind of flow a little bit smoother uh, and get through these uh, with a little bit more flow and substance. Um, kind of like this one as opposed to the hour and a half long version the first time we did it. So hopefully this was better than the first go uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, and let me know what you're looking forward to in the remainder of the year, um, whether it's Majestic Mavens, Darkwing Blast, 
or uh, the Crystal Beast uh, set. So let me know. We'll catch you in the next one. You guys take care. Thank you.